With over 300 hours of footage being uploaded to YouTube every single minute, finding and knowing the right formula to create a video is essential. I'm Dan White, and today I'll be showing you how to make the perfect YouTube video. Step one. First of all, you're gonna need a camera. Now a lot of people have different opinions on cameras, but me personally, I like to use a Kodak. Disposable. This is very handy as you can throw it away afterwards, and it captures absolutely incredible footage. It's, you have gotta see it to believe it, I mean look at it. <laughs> that's, that's definitely done some damage. So you've got yourself a great camera and now you're going to need a tripod to uh, to mount the camera and be able to get multiple angles and have a nice level and steady plane to shoot on. Um, but I find tripods are a bit too mainstream. So what I like to use is a bookcase. Uh, just simply position your camera on the third shelf, pop it up there, uh, aim that towards you and you'll have a great shot for all of your video. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Obviously, it's always a great idea to uh, pop open your window. Uh, this will create a much more immersive YouTube experience. So you wanna get the sound of the outside uh, in as well. So we'll just pop that open now. There we go. I mean, occasionally there's a war going on. Continuity will be your worst nightmare when shooting videos. So stay consistent throughout. It's important that you don't break the illusion of reality. If you suddenly crop up in a red jumper, it could be rather annoying. You'll have many cutaways, so make sure to keep them similar. Viewers will be rather concerned if a sudden difference crops up without them knowing. And then you're gonna need a microphone. I've uh, secured mine up above and uh, I have complete faith that it will not fall on me. See, see? Doing YouTube can be um, quite hungry work. Uh, Let's have a quick lunch break. We probably don't want to film this part because um, that would be ridiculous. So we've got our little bookcase set up here for our smaller shots and our bigger bookcase up here where we can do the larger ones. And then lighting is another key feature so make sure that's nice and secure. Okay, so everything's set up and now we're finally ready to start making our YouTube video. You're gonna to need to decide on the topic for your video. And for this particular segment going forward, I'll be focusing on the life and times of Bill Gates. I'm going to now record and show a completed segment on this topic and go through where improvements can be made. There'll be many cutaways, there'll be many edits, and I'll be reading off a script for this particular part. Um, and of course, feel free to add in some background music for effect. So uh, let's begin. Important to be factual, always be factual. Now, Bill Gates founded Apple Incorporated, later known as KFC, in 1662. From a small age, Bill was always fascinated with chicken and computers, releasing his first all-purpose machine in 1998, rightly named the Bargain Bucket. It was finger-licking good one critic said. But it wasn't until 2002 that Bill caught mainstream attention with the release of the iPhone. Essentially this device allows you to sync with up to eight different pieces of southern fried chicken worldwide. Bill later went on to have one child named Ross and many have stipulated that this may be a nod to the term roast. <clears throat> However no one is quite certain. To this day, Bill still releases computer products throughout the world, although his iPhone brand has since dropped its chicken association and has thus lost popularity. As much as people miss the headphone jack, the lack of real-world chicken tracking has angered them further. Apple's new sheep tracker has attempted to rekindle the flame, but no one really likes sheep, aside from Apple, of course. And there we have it. That is how you make the perfect YouTube video. Factual. Definitely not too many cutaways. Didn't go over the top of the sound effects. Uh, it was just it was just as you want it to be. And can you believe that was all shot on a disposable camera? Which I think I will now throw in the bin. Thank you very much for watching this video. I may only have 75 subscribers, but I swear to God, you guys are the best 75 subscribers a man could have. I thank you all the time for the comments you send me, all the support. Uh, and keep watching. If you like this, please share it. Please like it, that's pretty self-explanatory. Please comment. And if you want me to do anything else in future videos again, please comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm out, I'm out. I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm gonna, uh, I may actually develop it and post it onto my channel, who knows.
Anyway, thank you very much. Goodbye.